Hi, I am Richard Donner, and we are in my little office in Beverly Hills, and we're going to talk about Culver City, which was my introduction to Hollywood. I was shooting a commercial and um, for a, was it a commercial? Yeah, with a, a Western actor, I forget his name, who was prominent in TV series. And we shot it in front of this building uh, on the back lot. It just happened to be there. And after we finished, I looked and I said, hey, to, well, I said, this looks like Tara in Gone With Him. And the guy said, this is. I said, what are you talking about? He said, this is. And here we were throwing horse shit on it to make it look like a Western thing. And we brought about a whole movement to save Tara. And we did, and it was shipped to Georgia, I think, from Culver City. And it was because it, it was started because the fact we were shooting a, a commercial in this great hallowed hall of Tara. Well, I'll tell you, there's another great story about Culver City, MGM. I was doing um, a series called Twilight Zone. I would come in every once in a while and work. Great producer, Bill Frug. And, um, we were doing one called Incident or something at 30,000 feet. And it was about a, a um, gremlin that appears on the wing. And Bill Shatner was a young actor. And, and uh, he was started anyway. Um, we were given the opportunity to use the tank set at MGM. And in it was this four-engined airplane, which was a big airplane that had been moved there and had the engines had been chained to electric and everything. And um, we were going to have, it was a three-day shoot, believe it or not, this massive thing of a gremlin on the wing and smoke and wind and rain and a gremlin flying and everything. And the end of the, the middle part of the day, the, uh, close to the end of the second day, the producer came on the set and he said, um, I think you have a little problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, MGM wants the set. They're going to, they're, they need it for a feature. I said, oh, he said, but no, you got to move out. You got to be done by tomorrow. I said, I can't. I have another full day shooting. He said, no, take overtime and finish it. And so we ended up shooting that all night till the sun came up and the feature crew came in to take over from us and we moved out. But it was like an unbelievable experience shooting at MGM on the motion picture set with all the top crews and it was magic and things that you couldn't do today.